All right, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to overdub audio here in Studio One. Let's check it out. Overdubbing typically means you're going to record audio to a pre-existing accompaniment. That could be audio that was recorded long beforehand at any time, or like in this example, to some drum loops for a song demo idea that let's say we're working on. Now, what you want to do is set up your session first. So here I've got some drum loops. And I set my metronome to 110 BPM down here in the lower left. And to record to my metronome, we can activate it here or by using the C key on our keyboard to toggle it on and off. Let's take a listen to this really quickly. Now, what we're going to do is create a track to overdub onto. So this audio is going to be separate. It's not going to be blended onto this drum loop track. It's going to be separate now for detailed mixing. Let's choose T on my keyboard, name it whatever you like, and the type of track, audio. Now don't be confused. If you see instrument here and you're recording an instrument like an acoustic guitar, instrument typically means a virtual instrument like a soft synthesizer or a keyboard or something like that. It doesn't mean a, a instrument like you would think like a, like a real acoustic piano that you need to mic to get the audio into Studio One. So we're recording audio. And let's name our track. Let's see, we get some colors, format mono. And our input preset, yes, we'll choose input left, which is uh, microphone input one on our quantum, and choose OK. Now there is our track. Let me open my mixer. And yep, OK, great. Now, if you remember, we can add phantom power to this microphone, record enable it now, and there we have some signal coming, and we are ready to overdub. Now, if you want to change the volume of your click track, by the way, it's here in the main fader. There's a small little click track icon here. If you select this, you can drag the volume of your click track to be lower or higher. This is going to depend on what's comfortable for you, okay? So keep this in mind. To adjust your click track volume, it's right here in your main fader. All right, so what we're going to do now is lay down some tracks and we're going to select record here or your asterisk key on your keyboard and let's do some recording. One quick note, of course, you want to set your input level. This is going to be the signal strength that's coming in. You don't want it too quiet or too loud. So I'm going to bring it down to about 30 dBs here, strum my acoustic and see about where I'm at. That looks good. All right, let's take it from the top and let's lay down some tracks. Let's do some overdubbing. There, and as you can see, the audio has been recorded. There's our acoustic guitar. Let me disarm the track for recording and let's play it back. To hear the audio back without the click track, just deactivate it by selecting it here on the metronome in the toolbar. And let's hear that again from the top. Now we're going to overdub one more time onto this. So what we're going to do here in the input section, I'm going to choose none now. Now there's nothing directed to this track. What's on there is the wave and I cannot record over it. Let's select T again and let's do acoustic right, for example. Choose OK. And now we've got a new track here and we're going to select input one as our recording input and arm it. And there we go. Now we're going to overdub not only to the drums that are 
the loop and the acoustic guitar we just recorded, but now we're going to create an additional layer of audio in conjunction to this arrangement. So let me back it up, activate my metronome again for some timing purposes. And let's do this again. We'll start at the top and I will overdub some more guitar here. And there you have it. So let me disarm my track. And now under input, I'm gonna choose none. That way I can't accidentally record anything additionally over that. And let's open up our mixer. All right. Go to medium so we can see all our work. Now I'm gonna disable, let me turn off my metronome and take a listen. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna pan my one guitar leftish and another one rightish. All right. And let's take a listen to how our demo is evolving. So in a real, work, real world working scenario, this is how you would write demo music. You would lay down some ideas and just work on them and really just stick with what you like. Let's take a listen from here. there. So it's as easy as that. We created some tracks, we overdubbed some audio, we did some rhythm guitar to a drum loop, and then we did some picking guitar into the accompanying arrangement that we've already created. So hopefully you can see how easy it is to get creative and stay busy here overdubbing tracks in Studio One. Hey everyone and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.